Hello, good. Good morning nga pala. Um, this is Pinoy Developer. Um, I just want to greet yung mga master na nakin dyan na mga programmer, software engineer at developer doon sa Cebu. Um, shoutouts din pala sa Devcon Cebu at Laravel Cebu. So, ngayon, um, ipapakita ko sa inyo yung konting demo at pati na rin yung repo for our Laravel web sockets. Um, of course, gumagamit din tayo ng Laravel Echo for real-time events. Um, first of all, eh, we need to run... Oh, tama. Yung nakita nyo is tatlo. Tatlong get command kasi we need to run our um, npm run watch. Tapos, kailangan din natin i-run yung web sockets server natin. Because we are not using posture right now. Kasi yung posture, pag sinin mo yung data pumupunta yun sa poacher tapos yung poacher mismo server yung nagpo-push ng data natin into our website but right here we have our own server which is yung websocket server so kailangan natin i-run sya socket serve okay meron na tayo sa front end natin because we need to use Vue.js kaya meron tayong PMRatch ito naman okay na rin yung server natin and then here we need to run our server um, we need to open this one so ang ginawa ko is um, medyo hindi, hindi po siya masyadong uh, let's say it's a very basic one so when we log in meron akong register kanina ayun wala pang mangyayari pero when we have when we use another browser um, pakicheck lang po yung itong big browser natin itong naka-maximize browser natin ayun so ang mangyayari is meron siyang mak maka makakakuha siya ng noti real time notification kung merong naglalag in at kung meron ding naglalag out ayun okay ito um, by the way, itong ginamit ko is just a simple view single flash message notification. Um, open source po siya. Makakuha mo siya sa viewexamples.com So, ang logic po nito is very basic. Um, we just need to import or to install our package. Pagkatapos is ito. Um, by, the, by the way, ang mga files na to is gumagamit tayo ng Laravel Mix na sa resource uh, then GS tapos dito sa app we need to import yung view flash message natin and we need to use it one globally so after that meron tayong component na example component which is built in when we create Laravel meron tayong basic ano name ng dashboard natin which is yung pangalan ko and then we have this callback text and plus message inside our div kasi yung una ito nilagay ko sa labas ng div kaya i just wondering bakit hindi siya lumalabas yung notification niya kaya pala kailangan natin siyang ilagay sa loob so we need to expert our data yung text natin is basic loren exo but we can easily modify that one tapos yung callback text natin is is blank lang kasi we are going to put something right there um, plus message style natin is ito yung built in lang din nya tapos yung background message natin is naka SVG ayun, hindi ko na hindi discuss to meron namang mga generator nito ba? and then yung mounted natin gumamit tayo ng echo so here in our Laravel doc documentation meron po tayong Laravel echo so first ang ginamit ko na package is ito ito po yung gamit ko na package um, credits po sa mga pinakamagaling na gumagawa nito is Marcel Pusyot Freak Idol ko and then meron na pong set of transaction nito if we're going to visit this one ito po yung pagpapara ng server yung ginawa ko kanina and then yung get started is you just need to follow the instruction and then until here meron pong mga instruction dyan after you install web sockets Laravel web sockets plugin you need to basis our documentation kasi we also need to install Laravel echo
ito po and you just need to install this one and then I use yung listening of events in presence ito po joining presence channel so you can see it here in my mounted one ito po yung ano codes nya tapos yung list of methods natin meron tayo yung show at clear text and then ito when we use the echo and then if nag join ng chat we create that one and then when somebody is joining our channel chat is our channel name somebody is joining our channel lalabas yung message na success tapos ito yung name ng name ng taong nag join at saka yung basic message natin at sa leaving din ito rin error message and then if you going to check this one like this one once we log in ito po ayan ito po yung ang codes na yan is ito po tapos when we leave eh, ayan kulay pula ito din po yan ito yung indicator nya error and message this is for leaving kita na po naman when the user is leave and then when the user join ito din po so, ipopush po natin yung code na yan through our GitHub para naman gawing reference sa katulad po na nagsisimula pa rin kasi walang perfectong programmer at we don't memorize codes. Yung iba nakakalimutan na natin ng syntax. That's why kailangan natin ng mga reference. So, stop muna natin yung server. natin ayan successfully uploaded let's refresh this one ayun ito po ikakabit ko po itong link na to sa youtube channel and salamat mabuhay tayong lahat